What's up? This is going to be my month seven update for reverse engineering project 24. I feel like every update is a little later than the last one was. And I do apologize for that. I've been super busy. As you can see behind me, the mud is literally still wet on my walls this weekend. I was just trying to finish up my studio and my office and really been working hard on that. I've been super busy with the YouTube videos and the blog has kind of fallen to the wayside a bit. I was really frustrated with everything that was going on with Amazon. I thought I had my account reinstated and everything was good. And they sent me another email with the same message telling me that they canceled my account again. I tried to dispute it and they checked again on my page and gave me the same response. So I figured there must be something wrong on my site. And I think I narrowed it down to two things that could have been causing the problem. Apparently, if you open links in a new tab, WordPress automatically puts a no reference on your link, which tells the browser to leave out the reference to where the link came from once you open it on a new tab. I found a plugin and that plugin removed all the no referrer links from all of my links that were going to Amazon. Another thing I did when I had to create my most recent Amazon account was put my URL path to my slash blog rather than my homepage because everything that was on my homepage, I had zero affiliate links on there. And most of the articles that were on my homepage, I don't think that any of them had affiliate links in the articles that were on my main homepage. So maybe when Amazon was crawling my site, if they went only to my homepage and didn't go to any more articles. Maybe that was causing the issue, but so far so good. And I've also made a little bit of money on Amazon since I've got it up and running again. A lot of my clicks are coming from my YouTube, but most of my sales are coming from my blog site. It's funny to see how people that visit my blog are actually buying more per click than people that are clicking on my links through YouTube. I'm making a few bucks, so I'm happy about that. And I really hope that Amazon doesn't come back and send me another email telling me that something's wrong and they cancel my account again, because at this point they owe me like 20 bucks, almost like really from all the ones that they've closed out and haven't paid me for. And I know it's not a lot of money, but it still kind of sucks. And as far as page views go, I'm at about 3,300 page views a month, which is pretty good. But I did notice that I think I hit a plateau and that's probably because I haven't been releasing any articles. I released an article this morning because I felt like I couldn't make a video without at least publishing one article. But really that's all I've done. I published two articles last month and I published one article this month and that's terrible. And I think that might be leading to my plateau a little bit. I also know that my niche has been deeply impacted by COVID. So maybe that might also have to do with why some of my articles aren't ranking. I've got 80 articles and many of them aren't doing very well, but a few are doing pretty good. So I'm happy it's, it's only month seven. Still, this is a really, really fresh blog site as far as from what I could tell. Everybody says it takes, you know, a couple years for you to actually gain some authority and, and be established. So it's still pretty fresh. I have about four articles that I should be able to publish here that I just need to clean up and add links to and put some pictures on and make them look nice that are already written. I've just been really lazy on the blog site because I'm having so much fun with YouTube. So for Azoic ads, I've made 17 bucks this month, which I think is pretty good, best month yet. Again, every month is a little bit better, but since I think I hit a bit of a plateau, I don't know how much better this month is gonna be compared to last month, but we'll see. I've, I made some money on Amazon. I'm making some money on ads. I'm actually seeing a little bit of money, but I'm also so invested in it that I wish it was more money, but I'm still happy nonetheless because I'm making money on the internet and I've never done that before. Also, my YouTube channel has been growing quite a bit. You can see that I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm not quite there yet for watch hours, but as soon as I get that, I'll be monetizing. And I'll also be talking about the money I make on ads on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested on that, let me know. Also, if you're interested on, on seeing any more videos that have to do with niche and blog topics that I could do and maybe cover, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from the subscribers that I have that are on my channel because of these videos. So please drop some comments down below. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about, if there's anything I'm leaving out. Again, this is something new that I'm trying. My first niche website, I'm trying to reverse engineer Project 24. And so far, I think it's going okay. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna wrap this up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you next time.